we've all had orchids like this before we missed the repotting then they came into flower again and before we knew it they looked like this all grown out of the pot not much leaf volume left and not looking terribly beautiful we'll go through it show you how to revive this orchid bring it back to its full life full glory so that we can get all those magnificent blooms back again so let's have a closer inspection see what we need to do we can see this is well grown out of the pot the side two roots are starting to stick to the outside of the pot we've got all these old pseudo bulbs with no leaf volume on them got some mechanical damage all these old dead pseudo bulbs in the middle of the pot oh and a horrible fungal infestation of the older leaves what we'll have to do is we'll have to remove it from the pot and then give it a good antifungal treatment then we'll probably give it an antibacterial treatment as well and then a nice fresh media and a cleaned out pot and then we can get all of these roots to really set in well in a nice well aerated media also all this moss on the top here that's just blocking all the air gaps quite a bit to do but this is nowhere near being a lost case this is going to be easy to revive and we're going to enjoy it for many many years to come so the motto of the story rather repot sooner than later and welcome to the nature company if this is the kind of information you're interested in please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on a thing okay just getting ready to remove it from the pot we're not just going to try and throw it straight out the pot because we know we're going to come up with some difficulties so we're going to have a look around carefully to see what's going to be holding it into the pot and how we can loosen it out of it so we know this is going to be a problem it's come out over so it's going to be holding the whole plant to the pot but also we can see there's nothing much here that's really going to be of importance so we can actually just give it a snip there and see if we can remove this as one big solid piece off the side and we look around here we have a nice strong new growth that we don't want to break off and all these beautiful brand new roots that are coming out so we're just gonna to have to be careful try and remove these carefully from the side of the pot without causing any destruction always good sanitized equipment We'll go in here, we see this dead pseudo bulb, and we'll just go in right there at it and cut straight through the rhizome. And now let's get to removing this piece before we then do our gentle task of removing this side here with all the growth that we don't want to break. And see it's fairly loose from the side of the pot most of the roots on the inside are probably going to not be really valid so we can just give it a, a fairly strong pull okay all the roots around the side are all finished so we can just go in and separate them and there we go So we have our one separated piece without any real damage and we'll have a look on the side just check that these roots aren't sticking to the pot too hard and just give the pot a little bit of a squeeze Sure everything is nice and loose and then just pull out the pot we can see the mix was a, a nice stony mix so that it had lasted quite long without deteriorating too far but it did need to be replaced now anyway Keeping these clean every step of the way. We can see here all the old dead pseudo bulbs. We'll just find where they get to and cut off at that node. Those can be removed and thrown away. And 
and then we'll just go through and tease out all this media that's still left amongst the roots. Be careful of any friends that you might find along the way. That is going to sting you and hurt like hell. And now what we can do is we can start from the back end looking forward to follow the rhizome. Here I'm going to do several cuts to remove these old pseudobulbs that aren't really serving any function but just taking up pot space. So we'll just go in there. take out a section like that and what I'll be doing in the next video is to show you how we propagate using these back bulbs like this. Now we can see it's forked on this pseudobulb so all I'll do is go in this side here Separating these two halves again. This old leaf with all this fungal infection I don't want anymore. So we'll just move that. And we have a section here with three back bulbs and a section with three of the front bulbs with their leaves still on, all having had their flowers already. We can notice a nice little new bud coming up there that's going to produce a new pseudobulb. So what we'll go in and do remove this old pseudobulb section off and have a nice vigorous growth section still available with all these little bud points that will then be allowed to to flourish there we go again it's turning in on itself so what I'm going to do is remove all this section here with the old pseudobulbs. We'll just go in right there where this last leaf is. There again we see there's an eye, that new bud that's coming up. And we'll separate those out again. We have this other old leaf that had some physical damage done to it and a little bit of fungal infection here so we'll just remove that as well and there we go we'll leave this old pseudobulb still attached because it's still nice and plump supplying this with more energy <laughs> now we'll just divide these pieces into the pieces that we're going to repot and it's going to be these three pieces here and these leftover pseudobulbs here i'll be doing in another video for you to watch coming soon on how to use these to propagate so you've got more but don't give them to your friends that didn't invite you to that last orchid show and you missed out so all we'll do now is go through our, our normal cleaning process cleaning up all these old dead roots taking away any of this old moss that might still be attached to the plant. Just be careful when working in between these areas like this as there will be these little eyes that you can mistakenly cut off or break off as you're diligently working through cleaning up your orchid. And you really want to get in here nicely and clean around where these eyes 
are so that they can grow out well because these old rhizomes aren't going to produce any more roots the roots are just going to be coming off that new growth that happens from those eyes so you just want to make sure that they've got all the space that they need to expand all I'm doing is feeling for the turgidity of the roots if they're soft and squishy then they just come straight off When doing this, we're just ensuring that every part of the orchid has been well soaked by the antifungal agent. And we'll just let it rest here. Please, these are dangerous chemicals. And please use protective gear. So now that our pieces are nice and dry, we can go ahead and start planting them up. So what we're gonna do is take a nice big pot fill the bottom with these rather large chunks of bark. This is going to help bring that air up through the bottom holes and into the root area. It will also allow for that fast drainage. And with this being a large cattleya, the roots are going to need lots of space and they're going to need to make sure that there's lots of air so they don't rot easily. We're using these large chunks of charcoal and fairly big pieces of bark with a few medium bark pieces thrown in between and just having mixed that all up we're just going to add that into the bottom of the pot and then start placing our orchids these ones we're going to be placing from the center of the pot so that they're growing out towards the end as opposed to the usual way where we plant from one side and allow it grow, to grow through to the other end of the pot this is because we're putting all of these pieces into the same pot. And then we'll make sure we've got nice strong stakes to hold these up and in position. So with all of these having the, those nice little growths at the bases, they should root in relatively quickly and then we can go in and remove the, the stakes and the tires afterwards. Then we'll just set the rest of our bark and charcoal in around our orchids, holding them up and in, in position. The two sections of this shouldn't suck and should still produce flowers in the next season. The one section, as I stated before, was only the two pseudobulbs. So that section may not produce flowers until the following season. Yeah, as we take a look, we can see all those rhizomes nicely potted above the top of the media. So they can get that aeration. And those nice big air gaps so those roots can really go down. We're just going to give this a week for the fungicide to take effect. And then we'll give it a last a light spray down with our peroxide so we'll link both the fungicide and peroxide videos down below to help you identify what sort of fungus you have and what sort of treatment your orchid will need and how to make that peroxide mix that won't damage your plant and there we go we have a completely manageable orchid from what was once an outgrown mess Thank you for watching and if you find any of this information helpful please hit that like button that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and that notification bell bing bong to be notified of all our upcoming videos so you don't miss out on a thing help us grow as we help your